Five, uh, five one win in the end. You must be like really pleased with aspects of that. I know the results not always important, but certainly the performance was there, wasn't it? Yeah, just small building blocks again from the other night. I thought the first 20 minutes half an hour was a, a very good game for us in terms of. I think it was an intensity to it, similar to a league game. Um, didn't win enough first and second balls, which is a big part of our league and got put under a little bit of pressure um, but I thought our finishing was just a lot better today probably created the same amount of chances but the, the finishing was quality and uh, could have had a couple more but overall a good a good workout again yeah it's good because it's a feisty game wasn't it like you say it, it gave that competitive edge at times didn't it yeah that's what we want we want to play friendlies against uh, teams where we're going to get that intensity and there's been like a few yellow cards within the, the two games that we've played because lads are going into tackles a little bit of a scrapping today again but you, you want that, you want that winning mentality, whatever we're playing, so um, delighted with the two games, it was always our plan to play lower league opposition in the first two, um, who, but lower league who would provide us a test as well, which I think we've had, um, and I said to the players, I, I still want to win games of football, I don't care who we're playing against and what stage of pre-season it is, I still want to win games of football and we've got two wins out of two, and positives right the way around. Only unfortunate day was just an injury to one of the trialists, so um, we'll get that assessed and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, Jack Deitch, um, was it good for you to get different players in different positions? Jack Deitch played right back first half, thought he was really good, read the game well. Cal Brown only was stuck in midfield. It was, uh, uh, yeah, good. it's the lads are saying he got put a right back as well, the chances he missed. So, um, no, with Deitch, with Deitch, he's got that flexibility, he can play right back and left back. It's not ideal, but we're going to have a small squad this season. Um, there may be times he's going to be called upon to go in one of them positions. So he held his own there, and I thought he was far better in the 10 off the ball and on the ball in that 10. He was, he was brilliant. And then his, his finishing was good as well today, because he, he, that's all he lacked the other day on uh, Thursday night. He had plenty of opportunities today. He probably didn't have as many, but took the chance that he got. Yeah, a lot of trialists, um, ones who played on Thursday, maybe question marks over. A lot of them impressed today, didn't they? Yeah, I think um, I'm, I'm going to make calls on some of them on Monday because we are going to start getting like 60s and 70 minutes into the lads. So I'll have a chat with some of them. There is going to be two or three that's going to be offered terms as well. So um, fingers crossed we can get a couple over the line before the, the two games coming up next week. Um, but yeah, like I said, some have impressed, some need to do more and I can make decisions on some now. I was going to say, uh, are you going to get some signed officially by Tuesday? Cause Saves me saying trialist every five minutes. Yeah, now, <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, I'll try. I'm going to speak to a couple of them now and I'll make them official offers tomorrow. And then, yeah, fingers crossed they, they want to join the football club and then they'll be with us from Tuesday. And then two away games now, obviously on grass, Ramsbottom and, and you've managed to arrange one for Clitheroe. And again, a bit of higher level opposition now and a big good test. Yeah, the, again, the plan was to play these, these type of teams. I think last year around this time we played um, Glossop away, another team away. And they were very close games and I'm expecting the same. Um, I think they're a little bit ahead of us, both of them in the games that they've played so far. But some of our lads will move on now to, to 50, 60 and 70 minutes, so I'm expecting us to step up another gear, just constantly sort of build them blocks towards the first game of the season. And I think we've done that today from, from Thursday's game. So yeah, definitely a tougher test in the next two games. Um, and again, I, I want to win the game of football, but you've got to appreciate lads will be getting minutes and trialists will be looked at. And obviously, yeah, we mentioned it on Thursday brief, but Jordan, Jordan Fabol comes for bad injury in pre-season and uh, they've set up a GoFundMe page from now, but uh, how's he doing? Jordan was down at the game on Thursday, really level-headed, his character is unbelievable and he's going to be, I, I can't replace Jordan, I can't replace him, I might get a talented player in that position, but in terms of him knowing the club, his relationship with the, the fans, with me in the dressing room, I'm not going to be able to replace him. Um, the GoFundMe page was set up because Jordan, in the last two years, he's turned down far bigger financial offers from other football clubs. Um, he is under contract here, but um, the club protect themselves with a, a long-term injury, which Jordan's got. So he's going to lose. He's going to lose thousands of pounds a year, and on top of that, he's got to um, take time out from his work. Now he's got to take time out when he's had his operation. So it's going to affect him financially, and hopefully um, the fans can rally together and pull a little bit of money together because they can see what he's given us on the pitch the last two years, and he's he's been injured performing for Hyde, I know it was in training, but he's, he's been injured performing for Hyde and he's, he's been very loyal and for me, when I first took this job, he, he had far bigger offers and it was a case of 
he wanted to help me out. He, he knew um, he knew the club were in a financial like tough position, but he was like, "No, I'm going to stick around and help you out during this this season." And then in the summer, again, there's some high spenders in this league. I think we can all guess who they are. Came in for Jordan, but he, he he's enjoying it here, and he'd have probably been better off financially going to these clubs with his injury that he's got. But he, he, his loyalty deserves to be rewarded, and I want I want to help him out financially so hopefully the clubs get the, the, the supporters and I think there's been a couple of fans from other clubs that have contributed as well it's up to about £600 so fingers crossed we can get as much as we can for him because he deserves it yeah and go to the website hygienite.co.uk and find the link on there um, Dave nice one we'll see you on Tuesday see you Tuesday cheers Luke